This is my homemade railroad go-kart that I'm about to take on these abandoned railroad tracks. They lead to this 100-year-old train bridge that I am dying to see. I love bridges, and I don't really know why. This one in particular is in the middle of the desert, and the only way to get there is by train. So, I'm gonna have to build my own. The only problem with that is I'm really no engineer, but for some reason, this year has been the year of me trying to build things. A lot of it has just felt like adult Legos, like I'm connecting things to other things. This, on the other hand, will require me to mount a real 200 cc engine to something that fits on a railroad and somehow get it all to move and travel 10 miles into the desert to see a bridge so sit back relax and watch me try my best Stop number one, the Dollar Store Home Depot, also known as Harbor Freight, where you can buy a lawnmower engine basically for $150. 212 cc's, this thing is no joke. I immediately regretted doing that. Now that I have the engine, I'm realizing that I don't really know how I'm going to build this thing. I've got a bunch of leftover wood from the tiny house boat, which is a start. <laughs> but I got a lot of questions kind of rattling off up here. Number one, how at all? Railroad tracks. The screws I used were probably two inches too long, so just grinded those off, and then the next day cut some more leftover boat wood to use as the floor of the frame. I don't really know how to cut wood. And that's okay, because although this thing is janky, it is less than 56.5 inches wide, so it should fit perfectly between the rails on the railroad. <laughs> All aboard, one-way ticket to... I'm really blanking here, huh? The Goat Canyon Trestle Bridge, sorry I forgot the name. It was built in 1932 on what ended up being nicknamed the Impossible Railroad. It earned this nickname because of the challenges that come along with building a railroad on the side of a really steep canyon in extreme desert conditions. Eventually one of the tunnels on the railroad collapsed and the Goat Canyon Trestle Bridge was constructed to reconnect the railroad to the other side of the tunnel. The railroad was abandoned in the 70s, but somehow 100 years later that bridge still stands today at 200 feet tall, 750 feet wide. But in order for me to see it, I've got to start assembling the wheels and the axles that will hopefully get me there. I began with the axles. Got it. The wheels I bought are not for railroads. Those would cost $200 pop. So I bought these $36 Amazon ones that I drilled holes into and attached metal plates to. And yes, some would call this sketchy, but you know, I prefer DIY, innovative, etc. <laughs> I will say that I did make sure to mount all of the wheels within. For the next six days, I worked on the engine, and this sucker about ended me. Look at how hard I'm trying. I mean, it was exhausting, but somehow I got that engine mounted, I got a chain on it, and all of a sudden, it was time for me to find out if this thing worked at all. And I was feeling nervous. Because this all was right. the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. Weeks of work for this moment. Really bad news. The wheels are going <laughs> in the opposite direction, which means the engine needs correction. In other words, I put the engine on backwards. Why am I stupid? And then it wouldn't start for me Please just start So I pulled that cord aggressively Then gave up and used the warranty Replaced for free A 90 day guarantee And finally, after weeks of troubleshooting, she was ready to see the bridge I added a few bells and whistles right at the end, like this bull bar, the horn, the lights. But then it was time to put the go-kart on the trailer, and I don't really know why I thought I could do this by myself.
Yeah, this is a two-man job. Thank you, Eric, for immediately getting out of bed right when I called you to help me move this thing. It is 5.30 in the morning, and it's time to go to the desert. Getting up at the crack of dawn to accomplish something that you have been working on for weeks and weeks is a special thing. I was lucky enough to do it with my friend Mo. Yeah. I knew his coffee mug was appropriate for what we were about to do, but I don't think either of us knew that this adventure would begin so quickly. No, no, first time. I'm pumped. I think it's gonna be really great. Uh, never been. That's not, that's not for me. Yeah, yeah, is he pulling me over? Yeah, yeah. Keep filming. Yeah, I mean, just like, keep that. Oh, so sorry, so right, sorry. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't even realize. I, I guess I was, I was, I was speeding. I, I actually don't know. I'm actually pulling you over because. Shopify is an easy-to-use, all-in-one commerce platform. Shopify empowers more entrepreneurs than anyone in the world. Head. And they celebrate that in pretty big ways, to be honest. Just look at what they did with the Sphere to celebrate Black Friday, Cyber Monday. They love the Sphere. I love the Sphere. That's it. You're under arrest. Why? You have the right to start a business. What? Anything you say can and will be used to promote that business. Oh, like the t-shirt business I started with Shopify to sell my Put More Engine t-shirts? Wait, dude, that was you? Yeah, that was me. You have the right to a custom business name. Okay. If you cannot afford a business name, one will be provided for you using Shopify's free business name generator. All you have to do is type in what your business is about, and then AI spits out all these fire business names. That's all you have to do. Wait, 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 wait. For real? Yeah, that's it. That's sick. Yeah. Start a business with Shopify today at shopify.com slash Preston Goes. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> what did you test it on? It all spun. Like, everything spun. But you never tested it to see if it would actually go forward. It just spun. It just spun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's going to be riding with us? A cooler full of beverages. A gas tank full of gasoline. A tool bag with every single tool just in case. Wait, the possible real room. How crazy is that? Is that crazy? For a second, it felt like we were in the final scene of like an Indiana Jones movie. off-roading continued for 45 minutes. Yeah, baby. Ah! I was a little stressed. We stopped to check in the go-kart a few times. Somehow it was still one piece. And before you knew it, we were pulling up to the entrance of the Impossible Railroad. <laughs> it was about to happen. And I could immediately see that the width of these rails were actually... Four feet, eight and a half inches. Also known as... 6.5 inches wide. That's 1.43 meters. I was oddly excited to measure it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Two things hit me in this moment. Number one, 56.5 was inside to inside, not outside to outside. This infographic would have been really helpful before I started building. Number two, although I built this to be adjustable in this exact moment, I'm remembering that there's only one tool I need in order to adjust the width of the go-kart, and I left that in the backyard. Oh, no. So what you're seeing here is an adult man slowly unraveling. Oh man, this sucks. Um, and then I decided that I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna drive home now. <laughs> That is the laugh of a guy who doesn't let his friends give up. My guy Mo said we should drive to the closest Home Depot, rebuild in the parking lot, spend the night at a Motel 6, <laughs> wake up the next morning, brush our teeth at 7-Eleven, drive two hours back to the same spot, and try again. Oh my god! <laughs>
<laughs> yes! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let her run. <laughs> It's also... This is why! Well, kinda! Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to the Impossible Railroad. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this go-kart's main voyage to the Goat Canyon Trestle Bridge. thing is still one piece somehow so we're gonna double the speed y'all may want to buckle up Unfortunately, we were not. While Mo was looking for the phone, I found this. This is a broken wheel, and we were two miles into our eight mile journey to the bridge, and I was pretty unsure if this was recoverable, so we decided to turn around when the strangest thing happened. You may have noticed this earlier, but there was another car parked next to ours when we started on the tracks. At the time, we thought it was really weird, but didn't really think much of it. And here we are now, hours later, in the middle of the desert, realizing that those people are doing the exact same thing we are. Worst comes to worst, what will happen is, We'll come back down and we can stick your whole cart on our cart. Wow, that's huge that's blessing. Thank you guys. Yeah. We are not staying out here past dark, so we're gonna be back down. Well, you guys are the best. So have not, the best. Our guardian angels continued on to the bridge that I so desperately wanted to see. Well, we stayed here and tried to fix this thing without their help. And it feels kind of possible because I brought this bag full of nuts and bolts. Inside that bag was this big boy washer. It was just big enough to kind of cover one of the holes and hopefully hold the bolt in place. It was pretty wonky, but it fit in well with our PVC pipes and zip ties we used to rebuild at Home Depot. Unfortunately, any weight would immediately break the wheel, so we'd have to push it all the way back to the car. Hey, where'd you get your shirt? You like it? I love it, man. If you'd like to support the channel, feel free to grab a shirt, because, you know, sometimes the answer is to just put more engines. Other times, like in this situation, the answer is to start the engine and just send it all the way home with your fingers crossed, you know? Because why walk when you have one of these? People, you make it back. wheel was doing the impossible. We didn't make it to the bridge and that's okay because I'm hooked. I have to do this again. Shit! If any of you would like to see that video, please let us know in the comments. This is my last upload of the year and just want to say thank you so much. It's been one of my favorite years I've ever had and that's because of you guys. I like, actually felt like <laughs>